going to be a quick video just to show you what the Nvidia Shield is really capable of. Um, I mean, <clears throat> personally, I think it's by far the best handheld games console. You know, when they talk about games consoles, they always talk about the 3DS and the PS Vita, but I'm just going to show you right here, right now, why Nvidia Shield by far surpasses those two. So, I mean, first, let's just take a look at gameplay from the 3DS. So, this is Monster Hunter, probably one of the best looking games on the system. As you can see, it looks pretty nice. Um, up close, obviously, there's quite a few jaggies. The resolution isn't great, but you know, the frame rate's nice. Uh, the game is fairly crisp, but you know, textures are very bland. Uh, there's a lot of pop in. And I mean, you know, so it's sort of a. not a very good looking game by today's standards. You know, it's not a very modern looking game, but it's, you know, it's fairly good for a portable game. Um, there we go. Up close, I suppose you can see the pixelation a bit better. Yeah, so in summary it's it's okay. Okay, it looks okay. Now let's look at the PS Vita. Playing Killzone Mercenary, probably one of the best looking PS Vita games. And as you can see this looks quite a bit better. You know, really, really almost console quality. Not quite, but almost. And, you know, if you're into console experiences, this is you know, console experiences on the go, this is probably the handheld you're going to want to pick. Because, you know, it does offer some very, very console-like experiences, and um, it's getting quite a few ports of console games, things like Assassin's Creed, uh, Killzone. As you see, you know, it looks pretty good. Uh, it's playing, you know, it's running at not a great frame rate, but, you know, it's the graphics are very, very nice. Uh, resolution is... It's okay, I mean, up close, as you can see, there is a bit of pixelation, because, I mean, this is uh, half HD resolution, that's what it is, and uh, so, again, compared to modern smartphones and things like that, the screen does not compare. I mean, it's got nice colours, um, but the actual resolution is not great, um, but you can see why they created this screen at this resolution, it's because the hardware just isn't powerful enough to power anything higher. So anyway, that's the PS Vita. Now let's just have a quick look at what the Nvidia Shield can do. Now I realise this isn't a totally fair test because the Nvidia Shield is streaming a game from my PC. So um, you do basically require some other, you know, you do require basically a PC that can stream games to Shield. But if you have that, the result is pretty incredible. So let me just sort of get a good angle, zoom in a bit. Now you can see what you can really do on Shield. This is full PC game, Borderlands 2, running at full graphic settings at 720p on the Nvidia Shield. So being able to play a game like this on a portable device is just, you know, it's it's unheard of. When you actually see it in person, it looks absolutely incredible. It, um, you know, it blows away the PS Vita and the 3DS. I mean, it's just, you know, it's no competition. You'll never want to play on another portable device again. And on top of that, the Nvidia Shield's got so much more going for it. You can play emulators of every console up to the current generation of portable consoles. So you can play PSP games on it, you can play all your DS games on here, you can play everything before that as well, PS1, N64, every single console before that you can think of, there's an emulator for it because this is Android, and you can even upscale it so it plays at native 720p, so it looks even better than it did originally. Um, you know, on top of that, this thing's got amazing speakers, far better than anything you get on the NVIDIA, sorry, on the PS Vita or 3DS. The NVIDIA Shield's also got um, a really, really nice 5-inch 720p display, <clears throat> and as you can see, I mean, even close up, this thing looks incredible. The display is so, so sharp, and colors very very um, vibrant and you know it blows the 3ds and Vita out the water yeah you, know, you also get things like um, all the standard things you can do on Android browsing the web is much much more efficient than on the 3ds and Vita you get all those apps like YouTube Netflix Hulu twitch everything you could want is on here because it's an Android device so it has all the benefits of an Android device as well as all the benefits of a handheld console and more I mean playing PC games on here is it's an incredible experience. The sound is stellar. The picture quality is stunning. You know, it's it's like playing a full 
PC quality game. You know, this surpasses PS4 graphics, forget PS3, and you're playing it on a handheld console. It's incredible. Um, and I realise there's some prerequisites, but if you own a PC that can stream to Shield, I think the Shield is an incredible device. I mean, even if you don't, it's still it's got loads of good things going for it. I mean, just a tap here will show you that Nvidia Shield has got its whole own, um, you know, store. These are all Shield optimized games. Uh, there's um, on top of that, there's you know, there's other games you can get specially optimized. You can get there's so many other games with controller support and. There's a growing library of real gems to play on this system. You know, things like Dead Trigger 2. These are must-play titles, really, I mean. Android is getting some pretty heavy hitters, and Shield is the best place to enjoy Android games. Even games that don't support controllers, you can actually map controls, so uh, they work on the Shield. So you can, say, for example, play Angry Birds using the joystick to move the birds, that kind of thing. So you can personalise the experience. Um, so, yeah, I just want to get more people to basically know the NVIDIA Shield. Very few people have actually even heard of it, and even fewer know what it does. So, just to let you know, I think it's an incredible piece of kit. I think that before you buy any of the PS Vita or the 3DS, you should probably consider buying the NVIDIA Shield. Uh, the price has also just been cut by $50 to $249, and if you want to go even lower, you could buy it pre-owned. You can get it for about $200, maybe even less. So, you know, it's priced very competitively with the other two. And don't forget, the PS Vita has no inbuilt memory. 3DS has comes with like 2 gigabytes or 4 gigabytes. The Shield comes with built-in 16 and expandable up to another 64. So anyway, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. Rate, subscribe, comment, like, and check out my other videos.